Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Essence and Organist Choir Master at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. So every once in a while, I am thrilled to come upon a name of a composer that I didn't know. And it was three years ago that I was in London and I was introduced to a lovely lady named Katie Rowan and found out that she wanted to tell me about an Irish woman, a composer named Ina Boyle. So she gave me a whole packet of her music. She was a new name to me, but I learned so much more about Ina Boyle. And what was great is that, and I'll come to this a little bit later, the ensemble singers of Vocal Essence then did sing music of Ina Boyle at a concert in October of 2019. She, as I mentioned, was an Irish composer. She studied in Dublin. There were some names that are now, of course, in the past, but back then they were big names. Charles Wood, Percy Buck, C.H. Kitson. These were all important figures in Irish and English music. In 1923, an important thing happened. She took the boat and went to London to have a composition lesson with Rafe Vaughan Williams. That started a pattern that continued for a number of years where she would go over. But she always came back. She lived with her parents and sister, and it was a very isolated life. So she didn't ever get to have her music known as widely uh, as one would hope could happen. But nonetheless, she did go back and forth to London. She did see Vaughan Williams a number of times. He was very complimentary about her music. And she wrote uh, in that kind of style that would have been, as I mentioned, she lived 1889, died in 1967. So there was a kind of von Williamsy feeling, a romantic feeling about her music. Here is the beginning, for instance, uh, of a piece she wrote uh, that was called Soldiers at Peace, written at the end of the First World War. And then the chorus comes in and it starts the text, Grieve not for those whose still unfading spring is graven deep in England soil. Music of Ina Boyle. Well, as I mentioned, the ensemble singers sang a beautiful set of pieces by her. They are called the Gaelic Hymns, composed in 1924. There are six of them and it was a treat, uh, not only to sing them, but that Katie Rowan came over from London to be at what was the world premiere of all of them together. These are words that come from the Gaelic, and Ina's settings, well, they're magical. And one of the things that I'm looking forward to, hopefully next year, is going to Dublin going to Trinity Library and looking through, because there's a lot of Ina Boyle music that has never been published, that's still there in manuscript. I know we need to be singing more music of Ina Boyle. We've done some at Plymouth Church, 
but not much. So I'm looking forward to going to Trinity and having a chance to explore and discover new music of Ina Boyle, an important voice, certainly, in choral music and particularly from Ireland. So here is her setting of the last of the Gaelic hymns. It's called Soul, S-O-U-L, Soul, Peace, and begins with an alto solo, since thou, Christ, it was who didst buy the soul at the time of yearning the life. And it goes on from there, and then finally, it changes beautifully and becomes uh, this kind of benediction of the saints when Michael, the archangel, welcomes the soul to heaven. Music of Ina Boyle. Michael the Archangel. Have a wonderful day.